often asked why I named my company Round Peck. And the obvious answer was because I felt like a square peg in a round hole all those years in corporate, and that business was where I fit. But there's really more to the story than just that. You see, I wanted to build a business that was based around the ideas of creativity, collaboration, and positive energy. And for me, creativity has always been a round process. Round. Research originate, unite, nurture, and do it. If you want creative output, you need creative input. You got to do research by collecting information from all sorts of places without really worrying how it fits. And input comes from everywhere. What you read, what you see when you're walking down the street, what you hear in conversations with people. When you're ready to start brainstorming, you want to bring together people with different backgrounds and different ideas, different skills and personality styles, and all of them bring all of this information that they've gathered along the way. To get the best ideas, you want to encourage people to say the first thing that pops into their head. There are no bad ideas in the, in the origination phase. As crazy as you can get, throw them out there. No, no limitations, no reasons why something won't work. Sometimes you have people who... Next, after you move out of that origination phase, you want to look at uniting ideas. And this is where you bring together pieces from different ideas. You start to eliminate the really crazy ones, but you perhaps look at, are there ways to take a crazy idea and make it not so crazy? Look at the information that you've collected and make sure it's relevant and reliable. Look for common threads and reoccurring themes. And now, once you've identified two or three possible ideas, you're ready to move on to nurture them. To take a break, think through some, some details, and then come back together and start creating a plan to launch those ideas. It's important to have gaps between each step in this process because it gives you an opportunity to process some of the things that you've heard and check for more information. Fill in the gaps that maybe you didn't have in your initial conversation. And then it's time to just do it. It's time to leap off the edge and launch your ideas. You can nurture them and nurture them and nurture them forever, but you need to get them out and get people interacting with them and trying your product, service, or marketing idea. And the reason it's a round process is just about the moment you think you've got it done. It's time to start researching your next idea. Go ahead. The next time you're thinking about a marketing campaign or a new product, try my round process. If you've enjoyed this conversation, look for longer episodes of More Than A Few Words wherever you listen to podcasts.